Hello, love angels. It's your girl Shamika with For God's Glory. Welcome, welcome back to Faith Feel Friday. I know this is coming to you on a Saturday, but uh, it's been one of those weeks. Again at the beach. Finally got here, but today I'm wearing my bathing suit. Last time I came, I just kind of wanted to get out here because, you know, all summer I hadn't been out here, but I was like, I need to come out here in a bathing suit. Now, I wanted some friends to come and take some selfies and things like that, but it didn't happen. But I don't, I don't let no one stop me. If I have my mind set on doing something, I'm going to do it. So I'm just out here. Put my sunscreen on. I have some work that I need to do for Wife Academy School, um, which I put in my Testimony Tuesday video. For those interested, go there and um, check out the links. So amazing, the amount of information I'm learning. So today's video is kind of spontaneous. I didn't have a topic prepped. It was pretty much just... I just have so much faith and expectancy for what God has in store for my life and for yours. You know, I recently was blessed, and I'll start over. I was recently blessed with um, a position a few months ago, and I really thought it was the right fit. But, you know, sometimes what looks good on the outside isn't what's necessarily good on the inside. Um, and a lot of things started, you know, transpiring, and unfortunately, I had to uh, resign, but, and this is how amazing God works, there was an amazing, even better opportunity, an upgrade from that, literally in the same, in the midst of me having to leave this one position. So, literally left one position, like I resigned from a position, and literally was offered a position the same day. Now that's favor, that's, <laughs> I'm just, I'm still in awe, because the package, like the full overall package, is exceedingly abundantly above what I could have ever, ever asked or even imagined. Like seriously, the way it all unfolded, the way it's happening, there was peace in it. As I tell you guys all the time, I need to have peace in every aspect, every area of my life. And the last position, unfortunately, it was starting to affect that. And, um, you know, I was kind of dealing with a little bit of guilt, I'll be honest. Meaning like... You know, I, I always say I get this from my dad in regards to getting work. Never really had a problem with that. You know, jobs, I've been blessed to have jobs beyond, behind jobs. And the past year or so, I've kind of had a few. Um, and it was just because it hasn't been the right fit, you know. And that's sometimes what you have to deal with. Now, of course, I have people here saying, oh, it doesn't look good on your resume here. You know, but, and it's something I'm still praying on. You know, it's, it's not about what other people think or how it may look. If God tells me to go or if God tells me to stay, that's what I'm doing. So every decision I made, prayer was involved, obviously. And God said, all right, this is too much for you. I have something else for you. And that's what was happening with this job. Now, obviously, with this position, I wouldn't have just gotten up and left, you know, because I need a backup plan. But God provided a backup plan in the midst of my struggle. Like, I was really going through a lot with this last position. And it was definitely things unexpected. I felt like... I was looking, I was looked at as not who I am. And you guys know I'm genuine, I'm honest about everything. And my friends know me, I don't lie. Like, I can't lie. I just, I'm always like, honesty is the best policy. And if I say a fib, I immediately say, oh, I was just joking, or this is what I really meant, you know? So I, I just don't. And I'm very upfront, very honest. And a lot of what I was doing was being looked at in a negative way. And, um, you know, but that's here nor there. I always make it my mission to learn something from every opportunity, every door, every closed door. I'm right now listening to the video about the Proverbs 31 woman and Jerry Flowers is talking about, you know, um, closed doors and um, I forgot the season, how he referenced that, but we need to sometimes appreciate the closed doors. You know, a lot of, like he was saying, a lot of preachers are always talking about the open doors, open doors, but we have to find the blessing in the closed doors. So I'm just excited and happy because I keep myself faithful in everything. And despite how I was feeling, I knew I wasn't going to be there for long. Like one of the things they talked about was, you know, you're not meant to struggle. You're meant to thrive. You're not just meant to survive. You know, and for a lot of us, we're in a place where we're just trying to make it. We're just trying to survive. And I was telling my family, you know, it's like, no matter how much I need to survive, I can't let it affect me, my spirit, my peace, my health. 
you know, if I start to feel like anxious or anxiety or, you know, I, I don't get headaches. And this job has given me a few headaches. Luckily, I have a holistic approach. You know, I do the essential oils with doTERRA. So I'll put some peppermint oil on my um, temple just so you guys know that that helps with that instead of, you know, popping in an Excedrin or a Tylenol. Um, and when I start noticing changes in my body and I'm feeling this way or I lose that spark that I had when I started, you know, I know it's my time to go, but at the same time, there's challenges with everything. So if it's not my time to leave, I don't want to just up and go and I'm messing up God's plan, you know, so, but there was a piece in it. It was truly a piece in it and I'm beyond excited. I'm beyond humbled. I'm beyond blessed and grateful for this opportunity. And you know, sometimes it is like that. You may just have to keep trying different things until it's the right fit. You know, and honestly, the position I'm about to do, I loved doing this role in my previous job when I was um, at a nonprofit. And the only reason that that position had to end was because my boss at the time was moving, changing company. So I had to end it. But if it was up to me, I would have stayed there. You know, so to have the opportunity to now work in the same role, but a whole new company, fresh start. It's just an amazing package, you know, the place that I'm at, they have a choir that I can join, they have a chapel, you know, the prior place, I couldn't really speak on God, and I had to be discreet because of different religions, you can't push your religion on people, and I totally get that, but there's a freedom here that I'm so blessed to be a part of, and so thankful to God, and I just wanted to do this video to share my testimony and also pray that it gives you all faith for those out there who may be dealing with something where you feel like you have to stay because you got to survive and you don't have to. You really don't. Just pray and God will show you that door to walk through or to walk out of, you know, and um, there's always something better on the other side, best of to come. He knows the plans that he has for us, not to harm us, but to prosper us and to give us a future. And, you know, I just want you guys to remember that. And with that being said, I'm now going to enjoy the rest of my time at the beach. I'm going to do my homework, like I said, for Wife Academy. And just have some one-on-one -on -one with God. We got to make sure we do that every day. Make sure you're really giving devotion time to the Lord and not just, you know, like, oh, thank you, God. Thank you for my blessings. Okay, bye. And then you could talk to your friends and family for hours at a time. But you're giving God, like, a minute of your time when he gives us everything. He, he gave up his life for us, you know what I mean? So just keep that in mind. Just some food for thought. Lovingly, food for thought. Alrighty. Well, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time for God's glory. God bless.